Hey everyone, how's it going? So in this video, I wanna talk about Tesla Cybertruck power share and how it works. So not only can you charge other EVs, we can charge any EVs actually. So right now we are testing this out and we have another video on this previously posted, but this Model X is low on range, won't be able to make it to the near supercharger. So we are going to charge this up enough to get us to a supercharger because this house does not have a charger that is level two and we don't want to wait here for a few hours so the cybertruck can actually charge an ev the model x has a larger battery capacity so it is slower in terms of how many miles it can charge so it's getting about 26 to 28 miles per hour at 40 amps so with the model 3 you can easily get over 30 something miles per hour but the Cybertruck can also keep your house power up during an outage. So if there's a grid down because of some storm or whatever, because there's no power coming into your house, the Cybertruck can keep your house power up. And this is critical for people that rely heavily on electric throughout the day. And if there's an outage, the Cybertruck will be able to keep it going. We are removing our two charger. One is connected to the NEMA 1450, which is easy to remove. We unplug it and take the bracket down. But we also remove the version two of the wall connector. They do need space to install this gateway. This gateway is this box that control where the power goes. And it took a few hours. It didn't took the whole day. And it's because we have the panel on the other side of the wall here. So it was very easy to install. And this Tesla gateway is approximately $2,000. It's included with the Tesla Cybertruck Foundation Series. And also the wall connector version 3.5, which we also have installed here. And this allows you to be able to uh, charge up the car and reverse bi-directional back into the house if the grid goes down. Okay, so we just got the gateway and the new version 3.5 Tesla wall connector installed. So this is one of the first out there today. And this comes with the Cybertruck. And if you buy the foundation series, either the regular foundation or the beast foundation, uh, you get one of this for free. So this runs for about close to a thousand dollar. And this gateway right here, they were telling me uh, the electrician that installed this uh, is close to $2,000. So $2,000, $3,000, that's $3,000 worth of equipment uh, if you get the foundation series for the Cybertruck. On top of the full self-driving, uh, mud tires, upgraded interiors, and, uh, and all the accessories. So overall, you're basically just paying for all these uh, equipment on its own with a la carte. And what this does, what's special about this one is that this is a backup system. This is actually better than a Tesla Powerwall, in my opinion, because you can utilize the Cybertruck. And we have the Cybertruck plug-in right here. This actually will be able to power up the house during a power outage. So uh, whether I would purchase this to have it install um versus the power wall i would get this gateway instead but if you don't have a cyber truck then you can't get this install uh, maybe in the future the other tesla vehicle will have this as an option to build into reverse power and i'll show you in the app uh, later in this video how it will power up the wall while you're charging so when you have the wall connector the version 3.5 here or 4 whatever you want to call it if this is plugged into the Cybertruck and you're charging, so right now it's charging, and let's say the power goes out, the grids um, go down offline, the Cybertruck will actually put power back into the house. So using this gateway, and it's a little tricky to open this one up, you push in, and it's a clean look. This is uh, their latest gateway, and you can see um, this is the brains of the system. So when you get power wall, you will need a gateway as well or solar. 
Um, what Tesla is doing now is that when you want the power wall, they sort of force you to get solar. So this house already have solar. So it's from Sun Power. It's not Tesla, but at the time it was more efficient per panel than the Tesla uh, panel these days. It also has a better warranty, 25 years versus Tesla. I think it's limited 25 years. There's um, fine print in it. So definitely check it out. But Sun Power does have, does have a uh, advantage, assuming they stay in business, but we'll see what happens. So this connection here allows you to um, turn off. So this is gateway. It, it, it controls the power coming back into the house. So if you want to turn that off, you can manually turn it off with these breakers here. So this house in particular has a main breaker, has a sub panel. Uh, the main breaker is outside. I'll show you um, later in this video what that looks like, but they basically tore the whole panel off. Um, what well, the, the inside that is, all the wires, they had to redo all the wires uh, and make sure it works with this sub-sub panel. I call this a sub-sub panel now. It's the Tesla gateway, but there is power coming through this box here. And I really like this clean design. This whole thing is made out of some um, metal material. It's insulated as well. So waterproof, you can put this outside or inside. And it has a latch. You can also lock it up. And this new wall connector is an improved wire. So we did a video on this where the wire is was tangled up, cracking. So it looks like they improved the material. This new version, what's cool about this is that it has a um, J1772 adapter already built in. So you don't have a clunky adapter outside here. So when you get this new version 3.5, they still call it three, but it's 3.5, it's not the version three. Um, you can actually charge non-Tesla vehicle that doesn't have the North America standard adapter. So let me show you how it works. So I'm gonna go ahead and unplug the vehicle here. Just putting this plug back in. All right, so let's say I have a electric vehicle that's a non-Tesla and it's not um, using the North America charging adapter or charging standard, whatever they call it. There's a switch right here. You push on that, it releases this J1772 adapter. And now you can level two charge your non-Tesla vehicle. Now you have a Tesla vehicle or you have a non-Tesla vehicle that uses the North America charging standard. Instead of pushing on that, that switch or lever, you push on the unlock switch for the charging port. So press on that, hold it down, it releases and pull it out. So now you don't have the J1772 pulling out with the charging adapter. How cool is that? Very clean. And what we like about Tesla is their design is very aeronomic, clean, very simple, just like Apple products out there, even better. So let's go ahead and plug this back in. And just to show you how thin this wire is, okay? Just take a look at aftermarket charging, charging wire. Look how thick it is, right? This is maybe two and a half times more. But take a look at Tesla old version two. So this is, well, this is not the box for the version two. I'm gonna open this up just to show you. So this is the version two 80 amp. Just take a look at it. Twice as bigger. So we we'll probably will save this because it does have Elon Musk signature on here. This is the one of the award or reward for the referral program back in the days. And this is also worth a thousand dollar right now. We might save it for the future and uh, keep it as a collectible item or we might sell it online. If anyone interested in this, message us on Instagram or email us, uh, we might actually sell it off. 
So let us know before we post it on Facebook Marketplace or offer up. So we'll see how how well this works, but this is only 48 amp. This can go up to 80 amp. Okay? So 80 amp, 48 amp. So in the future with bigger battery, they might up that, but right now it's not necessary. This 48 amp can charge the Cybertruck up from 20 to 80 percent in about eight hours, so overnight while you're sleeping. So that's how long it will take. This is a 123 kilowatt battery, um, a large battery. So right now we're just waiting for Tesla to update the app and we'll show you how it can power up the house when the grid goes out and uh, if it actually works effectively, efficiently, we'll do a follow-up video. Uh, make sure you follow us, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe. Again, catch you all next time.